Now he has a lot of shyies up his up his, up his sleeve, and yes. I, I wish he could start the show off by giving us Spanish shyies. Right now, India Pakistan is the mother of all uh, cricket matches, and something which we all look forward to. Correct. I think a billion people of India and uh, all the population. Correct. There's a beautiful saying: uh, uh, the number of runs scored by Sachin and the number of uh, sixes he's hit. If you calculate the distance, it's, it cannot even cover the whole length and breadth of Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> So that's an interesting trivia and fact I'd yeah. like to bring about. And uh, yeah, like uh, on uh, popular demand shairi, here it is, especially for India and Pakistan and the will of India and the spirit and victory uh, through which they would uh, triumph. Jahan falak ko zid hai bijliyan ki rani ki. Wow. Jahan falak ko zid hai bijliyan ki rani ki. India ki bhi zid hai wahi aashiyan banane ki. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Wherever. Wherever. Uh, Pakistan would like to, you know, bring in their bowling attack or the best of fielding or how much ever they might try to. The in, uh, Indian uh, batting order, the batting presence would be able to yeah. deliver even Absolutely. throughout the best, you know. They may, might uh, bowl their googlies or the swings or the pace, all of that. But Indians will come out very mighty, you know. Right. The difficult place where they would not want to hit, that is exactly where they would go about blazing with their fours and sixes. So, yeah. Uh, uh, and I think I think it's a very interesting battle because Virat Kohli, Virat Kohli is one such player who's kept the legacy on, especially when it comes to India-Pakistan. His aggression, he becomes a roaring lion, you know, on uh, on the field it's more like a stage where they want to bring in their presence. So here it will be a do or die situation Correct. like we had seen in 2011. Absolutely. You know, MS Dhoni's boys versus uh, Pakistan, they yeah. said, you know, most of the Indians said that Correct. we don't mind you losing the World Cup but win this match. This is match yeah. <laughs> so that is the importance of an India and Pakistan. Everyone, you know, uh, on the way I saw, you know, people are praying everywhere, you know. Uh, India is quite diverse. There be Hindu, Sikh, Isai, anyone and everyone is praying. You know, we be Correct. Muslims and India, especially, we are praying in this beautiful month of Ramzan that India is victorious amongst all odds and we are able to pin this one down. No, absolutely. I can't agree with you further. And Ronald, I would just quickly like to bring you in this because when we look at India versus Pakistan battles over the years and we kind of flash back absolute animosity. Ab you know, especially the war between uh, Sachin versus Shweb. I was just, uh, I watched Sachin a billion dreams and uh, there I saw, you know, uh, how they used to bring about uh, Shiv Akta being the, one of the world's fastest bowlers ever right. and then uh, facing the world's best batsman. This battle has been very, very interesting, Sachin versus Shoaib. Another incident I'd like to recall is uh, when uh, Shoaib was really trying to intimidate uh, Sachin. Right. You know, uh, and then Sehwag happened to tell him, Beta, to <laughs> cricket ke aaya hai. Baap, baap hota hai, beta, beta. Right, right. When he was hitting him, blazing sixes all around the corner. And the one in particular was over. Third yeah. you know, man. Absolutely. Every other problem has been in their in their, their homes. Yeah, that's how it is. So uh, Sachin has always been belligerent. I think uh, in the uh, in the war, if you see, not just uh, restricted to uh, Shoaib Akhtar, but even Shemon yeah. or anyone else. Uh, Maybe, you know, out of 10 times, maybe two or three, uh, three times is not in, in Sachin's favor. But the rest of the time, I think uh, Sachin has always come through. So there's this beautiful t uh, saying, you never teach your papa how to go about with life. Right, uh, exactly. Uh, Fair uh, <laughs> but on that note, like, like in me, terms of... Let's get... Let's uh, there's, uh, you know, during this, uh, it's very interesting, you know, Indian Twitter fans and Pakistan Twitter fans, right. the way they go about mocking each other, spoofing each other in, 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 yeah, yeah, in, in every possible way. Right. So this um, uh, Twitter the right. Pakistani, happened to say that... Uh, Sheila Tumari Badnam hai. <laughs> Sheila Tumari Jawan hai, Munni Tumari Badnam hai. Okay, they're trying to mock them, you know, right. about female fan following, right. you know, with a, with a twang towards Virat Kohli. Right. So, uh, Indian, uh, Indian uh, fan uh, said that, Ha, Sheila Hamari Jawan hai, Munni Hamari Badnam hai, Jitne Virat Kohli ke female fans hai, Usse chota population tumara Pakistan hai. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's very nice to see this, especially on uh, Twitter, you know, even there's a, quite a decent amount of fans of Gautam Gambhir who put about those hot-blooded uh, antiques of Gautam Gambhir, especially against Shahid Afridi. Right. There's, there's something very, very uh, interesting a, to see. There's a pretty funny video on YouTube, eh? Yes, yes, there is a very, very, uh, you know, interesting one, you know, where uh, we hear some very uh, uh, unparliamentary language or, you know, very um, uh, not so pleasing words. Exactly. But it's
it's always there because Gautam Gambhir is a yeah. quite a hot-headed yeah. guy, yeah. and Pakistanis are always yeah. known yeah. to be, you know, those patans who want to come out and have a battle. If you know, yeah. if they had their way and there was no rules regulation and it was not <laughs> a cricket stadium and media watching people around the world, they would be, you know, into each other's blows. So it's always nice and good. Uh, you know, as much as I don't want to mention his name, there's this uh, cricketer from Kerala who got banned for match fixing. Yeah. Especially that one is quite a character. Yeah. You know, quite an interesting character. The way he go about uh, celebrating a wicket and uh, not just celebrating the wicket but his whole antiques, you know, it used to really um, uh, provoke the other side, right. provoke them to actually go for a shot where they might get hit for a, you know, might get bowled or uh, maybe caught. Yeah, so yeah. it's always good, you know, things like these add oh, that uh, entertainment factor, that masala bit the to factor. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's, and I'd like to say with the Shairi, you know, especially, you know, um, of course, there are a lot of allegations with respect to match fixing and so right. on and so forth, said by my respected uh, uh, panelist. Uh, all of that is there. But then, you know, India's answer is as simple as this, you know, to all of them. Hum apne dushmanon ko bhi paakiza saza dete hain. Hum haathon se nahi, nazron se gira dete hain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rada, I, I hope that comes to an end past because I think that our coach just look at Safraz and be like, because right. Pakistan hasn't much going well, right. neither politically, neither sports, neither fine arts, literature, music, nothing great. Correct. In our artists is happening on so many different sectors and fields. Right. So this is a huge pressure on them as well, not just India. Huge pressures of Pakistanis on the Pakistani cricket team. And that, that sets up a fascinating clash. Now we're running out of quick time because we're just what, an hour and seven minutes before the first ball being bowled. And I'm absolutely excited. Uh, I wish my voice would support me in that cause. But just before we leave you guys, we will, before we thank them as well, I would love to get a prediction out of all of them. And it's simple. India or Pakistan? And I'd start with the lovely lady in front of me. India for sure. That's it. I think if anyone says Pakistan, I think we're not going to do that again, but fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Honestly, as much, as much as I look by my uh, attire, Correct. you know, never judge a book by its cover. Absolutely. It'll be Dil Hai Hindustani. So it has to be that. Because people are afraid of the people. Right. People are afraid of the people. Why are they afraid of the people? 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 This is going out especially to the team. Yeah, more than a few words, but thank you for that on. because we're just running out of time. Yeah, and I hate to, to cut you off because your shairies are absolutely fantastic. Quick prediction. Uh, track record against Pakistan. Right. He, he knows the nerves and he's performed. He's performed uh, extremely well uh, uh, against Pakistan. So, therefore, experience. it's always good to have an uh, experienced player, a seasoned player, when you're playing an opposition like Pakistan, who understands uh, certain things. But, yeah, I agree with Ronald on the points that, yes, there could have been a good selection. But if it comes to Pakistan, the playing 11, Yuvrat Singh is uh, thumbs up. Yeah, but it's very interesting to see. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, Shekhar brought about a very nice uh, point. You right. Know? Back then, old days, but uh, Shikhar, uh, what do you think? Uh, does good looks really have to do with great cricket? Do you think so? And <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I don't know where this is going. No, no, answer, answer. Yeah, answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a close, close-ended question. It's not the answer we made in our house. I'm also a very big fan, sir, of yours. I always watch you on TV, sir. It's uh, very nice to see. I'm very excited. We wish India all the best. We want to win, sir. Oh, absolutely. I mean, make no mistake about that. And, and he raised a valid point, Mr. Ramesh, because the fact that, yes, India-Pakistan clashes are always that big. And I'd throw MC Abbas here because I think it's just getting a little bland right now. So pop in another sherry purely because of the fact of the fact that we have a peace quartet, which is unheard of for India. Ramesh, Jaspreet, Shami and Ruvi. Now, if we could play all of them, it would be obviously a wishful thinking, but we'll have to drop one of them. Do you have any something special lined up?